You are now watching Real Talk with Slapstick on Slapstick TV. Now coming your way, here on Slapstick, comedian big man himself, Bruce Bruce. Hey everybody, <laughs> this is Felicia here watching Slapstick TV. We're at the funny moment with Mr. Bruce Bruce. Hey baby. Woo, how you doing sir? I feel absolutely stupid. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You sure do you want to put on such a great show? Well, thank you very much. I'm still laughing from last night. Oh my God, you had me cracking up since the moment you walked through. I'm talking about Big Face Hunter, your grandmama. Oh yeah, but I noticed you was looking at me last night. Oh, I was checking. Well. I heard you growl when you said. Brr. I said that until you said you don't like big women. I didn't say that. You said big women are not for you. No, I didn't. I said big women could approach you. Okay. There's like nothing we can do together. Go kill a buffet and look at a workout table. That's See, what I said. So you say I'm not too big for you? No, you're not. Okay. You're absolutely just right. Well, no, that's right now. I see, See you sitting there. I'm telling you, I rub my knees like this. It's not that I'm nervous. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Y'all hear him, don't you? <laughs> that's Bruce Bruce. The big, juicy Bruce Bruce. The funniest of all funniest, Mr. Bruce Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Okay, you okay. Sit you sit over there with such great confidence. Where does that come from? Or do you just pay like you what? No, I just uh, just do laid back up. You know, people think that if I'm being a comedian, I'm just like just all stupid, which I am. But I'm very laid back. I like to sit back and watch people, you know, watch the right material at the same time. So I'm just cool up. One thing that I do like about your show is that you're constantly talking about trying to get black men to go to the doctor. Okay, now, do you think if we had more female doctor that men would show up more? It depends on how she looks. Now, if she built like a Russian prostitute, <laughs> no, she got to be fine. You know what I'm saying? She built like a little basketball. They ain't going to, you know, a masseuse, you know, a woman baby out no, You got to be fine. My doctor's fine. Okay. Now, in fact, she tried to hit on that couple times. I think she's not big though. She's thick with it. She's thick with it. Mm -hmm. And what's thick? Like I know that's right. Mm -hmm. That's why you call it juicy. That's right. <laughs> now on a more serious tip. Uh, you mentioned the passing of your mother. Mm -hmm. uh, my condolences to <laughs> your family. Um, obviously she had a profound effect on your life. At what point in your career did she think that you were funny? My mother always thought it was funny, but you know, we always encourage our kids to be doctors and lawyers and, and you know, get these good jobs. And, and they always encourage me to do that. And I knew I never was going to do that. I knew I was just going to do it all my life. And my mama just let me do it. But see, I was only child. I don't have no stepbrothers, no stepsisters, nothing. So whatever I want to do, my mama said, just do it. You know, they, they wanted me to find whatever I like to do. And they always say, whatever you like to do, do it, you be okay. So they just let me do it. So you just woke up one day and said, I'm gonna be a comic? Mm -mm. Never knew it. Never knew it. Only thing I did, uh, I was used to watch the Flip Wilson show and I watched him and imitate him and, and I just acted. So I didn't know what direction I was going. I got married at a young age uh, to the devil's woman. And uh, To the devil's little sister. That's right. Not to the devil's big brother. Mm -hmm. To the devil's little sister. Okay. And, and you know, I, I raised my kids, and I had three kids, two boys, two girls, and, and when I got a divorce, it clicked on me. I should be doing that. Especially when she said, you didn't have a make I'm like, really? So what did she say now? That's how I see you on TV. So whenever you all see me doing like this, <laughs> I'm waving at her. Oh, you're wrong. Right. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> now, really quick, let me just ask you, um, obviously your, your show is sell out all across the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you tweak your material to fit those demographics? Well, I don't. I don't tweak it for any brown, black, white, Latino, nothing. Because my comedy has no color. I can be like anybody. Asian, white, black, Latino. It doesn't matter. Because I don't have an all pro black show. I have a show that everybody can make. So, and then on new material, I write a new show every year. And I just add, add, add. And that's what I do, and it's, it's just a thing of being consistent. And you got to be consistent in this business, even when you sell tickets, when you dress, or do what you do. You got to give people something, because when they come out and see you, you got to give them something. Well, I want to thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. With us, Slapstick TV. Slapstick. I like that. Slapstick TV here at the Funny Bone. Thank you. We're talking with the big, juicy, fabulous, voluptuous. Funny of all funniest, as I already said, Bruce. Thank you.
That was funny man himself, comedian Bruce Bruce. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Pierre, another funny man coming your way, here on Slapstick. 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 Slapstick TV coming your way. Slapstick. Slapstick. Shut it Right here. Right there. Where you get the book? Because <laughs> I found a store in LA called. Actually, I got my facts in my store. It was on the bar and I had to pick them up. Lazar Lazari's. And uh, I'll be battling for them here. Yo, girl. Did that hurt you? you? But you was here with a dude. It ain't got nothing to do with me, okay. here. Okay, we can make this happen. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Thank you. Is that good? Wow, okay. Yeah.